you know, Chelsea at home, 28th of January, 1995. I know, because it was my birthday, I just told my dad. It's like, yeah, that was my 15th birthday. I don't remember a lot, much about the Chelsea game at home. I sat cold blow upper, three of my mates. I remember a lot of the Mill fans running there along past the Dockers, which is frying their cells in and also they have a pop of the Chelsea fans because that was the days when they was, used to give them the bottom tier. But uh, what, what, how did you approach that game? The same way, the home league? The same way, full of confidence. Um, it was one of the best atmospheres I've ever played in. It was, it was unbelievable. It was the best ever at them for me. Um, I just remember when Let Them Come was on and I was running about the pitch getting myself psyched up, singing along, I had goose bumps on my arms. It was just unbelievable. I've never heard it sung like it ever, yeah, other yeah. than probably at Wembley. Um, like, no, it's a, it was one of those games where it's quite tense. I don't think there's a lot of action, a lot of um, goal mouth action. Uh, I remember one time in the second half looking up, as I said, a few Chelsea pals, and I got the tickets and, and, all went, and I remember looking where they were, and oh, I could see it all kicking up. I was like, oh, they're not my mates. <laughs> so, but as the game was going on, it was literally, I remember looking at Cotter, it was 90 minutes up, and after the ref put four minutes on the ball, um, and I started the trouble. So, it was right in the corner where yeah. I was playing. I remember taking, I was chasing Scott Minto, walked on down line, I was chasing down line. Mm -hmm. so it's like, oh, I'm here, me all fans are literally a yard away from me fighting. In the middle of the fight, he's turned around to me and he stopped and said, I can do it, baby, do it. <laughs> so I've, I've gone, like, I've, I've thought, yeah, I'll have him now, I've done him. And he's gone off for a throw for us anyway, and I picked yeah. up. And I looked at him and said, he blow the whistle. He said, but the Hawks there, two yards from me, now he's chance. And he went, no, we've got to play the two minutes. So I was like, oh, yeah, it was a bit of a, not a, Boring game, but I can't, like you said, I can't remember a lot about yeah, the football yeah. of it. So, uh, we had to set up a good replay against well, Tom Chris, and it was a bit like the Arsenal game. You know? yeah, my old man wouldn't let me go, because obviously, because of every trouble. So, and that was before the days of, of, of Sky. So I, I listened to on Jonathan Pierce Capital Goal. So when he's screaming, you can't really tell what's going on. <laughs> and yeah, like, I remember, like, we're getting to the penalties, and like, you know, the game started. Um, I've so watched the back since they, they again they had a good side, a lot, lot more English orientated yeah. than what it is now. But um, yeah, we went one down um, late, wouldn't it? And then, and then oh, savage score. Well, I'm just going to quickly roll a goal and just keep your arm bearded in the goal. Did you see what Beardy did there? Because I watched it again say yesterday, and he ain't, he ain't run off of the players. Um, he's gone towards the fans, which is obviously because he's a fan, but his granddad, tell him what you're saying, Beardy. Yeah, them days it weren't like Sky or Soccer Saturday, whatever it is, it was um, the Tech, Patch, Teddy Tech. Yeah, Teddy Tech, yeah. And they actually put me down to score, and on one of the TV stations as well, he was watching it, and they said Beardy's good, so. Because you run off to the fans. Well, yeah, and I went in for the first one. There was a little bit of a scramble. Obviously, Sad has got I was on the floor, but I've milked it and jumped in the crowd. You know, so. <laughs> we went to penalties. Um, we scored five penalties. Even yeah. Rhino got one. Well, that was the thing. When he called us all together, I don't, I don't even know if it's on the um, telly, but two of the players took their boots off and sat on the back. That's how. When, they, when, uh, no. So, really, we had. Hey, because you've got to take Casey Keller out of that, we've right. put the best of his feet. So you're you're going to tell us who the two were, you know? Do you know what? One was Tony Whitter. Oh, was he? Well, he could kick it all day. I can't remember the other one was. I can't remember, but it, um, yeah, so there was me, Thatcher, and I think Damien Webber, someone like that. It was, it was, they was the three left. So as Spencer was going out to take his penalty, it was going to be one of us next. So. All of a sudden, the realisation is he's going to might have to take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I turned around to Ben and I said, "You go and went fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, you're taking it." And I turned around, don't remember, I can't remember what it was. He's standing there, he went, oh, "I'm taking it." And I'm going, "I can't take. I don't want to take it." I was, was absolutely. I was already like that. I was shitting myself. I'm thinking, "Fuck it. I won't even make it to the penalties, but I'm going to fucking collapse." I'm going to collapse. So I was an emotional league man. I was like, oh, God, "Casey saved it." And when he saved it again. All the Millwall players went that way, yeah, yeah. which was a massive mistake because they got pitch invaded by all the Chelsea fans. So as they went that way, I <laughs> sprinted that way and I was like, I was on the shoulders of fans, I was like, here, I'm not having to like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, the funniest thing was, uh, I always remember it, as I was coming back from the Millwall there, this police come on Chelsea fans, it was like it was mental, there were fans everywhere. And all I could say, it was Fatcher, he's coming towards me and I was going over towards him, giving him a hug or something, and this 
Chelsea shit house fan come running from behind and he's punched him in the back of the head. Who done Thatcher? Yeah, done him in the back of the head. I've not met Thatcher, but I've heard a lot about him and he's oh, absolutely off his crack. He's off his nut. And you don't do it. Of all the players, you wouldn't hit him. You'd have anyone. Dave Mitchell, John Cogan, whoever it was, don't hit Thatcher. So he's hit him in the back of the head and most players have gone down and hold in their face. He turned around and he's and he's chased him and he tells him about his shit he's running past players to get this kid that he's run over the stands up the stands oh the kid legged him yeah he's uh what's they call him scratcher scratcher yeah. scratcher scratcher oh well, well <laughs> no, we won't Not go any reason just fun <laughs> yeah but um yeah oh, that was uh what, that was, was there a night out that day yeah we did we went to uh um, i think it was wednesday night did wednesday i think we did go to um the old kid i got that night we went down gym pallets <laughs> didn't find any in there. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be a winner. No, I tell you what, we did on mate. I tell you why it wasn't that night. That was another game um, because we didn't get out of the ground until about one o'clock. The fans bricked our coach, so we couldn't go. Home. And they sent the replacement, and then that got bricked. We stood in the bar, and Chelsea players went right out. So say if the game finished up and about oh, eleven o'clock-ish, we stood in the bar about one. So we didn't get home until gone two. So, so no, not out then. Nah, then. Round three, we've done Arsenal, London Club, Premier League. Round four, we've done Chelsea, London Club, Premier League. Round five, surely can't happen again, QPR away. And they were Premier League as well, mate. Third in the division as well. They third in the Premier League. Yeah, they had a really good team, Trevor Sinclair, all that lot. Yeah. So, again, you must have still had the belief. Would you, would you maybe be a, a little bit overconfident, maybe as a team at that point? We thought, yeah, they've done Chelsea and Arsenal. We'd do we these played really the better team, we had chances, only lost at post. We had another couple of chances. I can't remember them creating too much. And it was going to take a mistake or uh, my own guys. It was going to take something silly to win the game. And as you see, Daniel Webber's yeah. uh, still to this day, don't know what he's doing. Uh, if he jumps, as he's gone up, his like, left arm's come up like that. Yeah. Normally, if you jump, you go that way, but you come from it. I don't know, I just don't know, but he was just heartbreaking because he could going up getting Man United and showing away, didn't they? So it could have been like a dream draw for us, but it is what it is. Yeah, I guess. still had a great run. Yeah. Unbelievable run. Um, so one of my best times of time as a Millwall fan, and that you know, put me on the way to just keep, keep going, you know, right until today. Looking back now on, 